Tonight's headlines, Sara leads presidential bets in survey. Kusi denies PDP Laban power grab attempt. Over 15,000 affected amid the Al Volcanoes unrest. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,481,660. Overseas Pinoy's remittances post double digit growth. LPA to bring scattered rain showers over NCR. Stocks slip on Fitch revision of Philippine outlook. And foreign reserves decline further. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, July 13, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel, and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio and President Rodrigo Duterte dominated the latest polls for possible presidential and vice presidential candidates for election 2022, according to a Pulse Asia survey released on Tuesday. According to the pollster, the presidential dot or Sara Duterte is the most preferred candidate for the presidency with 28% if the May 2022 presidential elections occurred during the survey period from June 7 to June 16. She was followed by Manila Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Dumagoso with 14%, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. with 13%, and Senator Grace Poe with 10%. Senator Manny Pacquiao got 8% while Vice President Lenny Robredo received 6% and Senator Panfilo Lacson had 4%. PDP Laban Vice Chairman and Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi on Tuesday denied that there was a power grab attempt in the ruling party. This comes after reports that PDP Laban Executive Vice Chairman Senator Aquilino Pimentel III asserted their authority over the party claiming that Kusi is the brain behind the power grab in the party. Kusi said he, as well as President Rodrigo Duterte, respected the late Senate President Nene Pimentel. He also denied that there were two PDP Laban parties. The Energy Secretary then criticized the younger Pimentel, saying the lawmaker should have done a better job of protecting his father's legacy. At least 15,473 people or 4,363 families were affected by the ongoing activity of the Taal Volcano according to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council on Tuesday. The NDRRMC said these affected individuals were reported in 121 affected barangays and a total of 5,620 people or 1,570 families evacuated from their homes and were staying in evacuation centers. Meanwhile, 9,853 individuals or 2,793 families were staying outside evacuation centers. According to the NDRRMC, a total of 23 evacuation centers are open to accommodate affected residents. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders.
make long distance easy with the Mirage G4. The Department of Health reported 3,604 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Tuesday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 1,481,660 even as seven laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought the active cases to 46,934 and of the total, 89.6% are mild, 4.3% are asymptomatic, 2.6% are severe, and 1.6% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,408,634 after 5,840 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 26,092 following 77 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also show that 56% of the intensive care unit beds nationwide are in use while 37% of the mechanical ventilators are occupied. In other news, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas announced that remittances from overseas Filipinos saw a double-digit growth in May as the global economy continues to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Central bank data showed cash remittances or money transfers coursed through banks rose by 13.1% to $2.382 billion from $2.106 billion in the same month in 2020. Year-to-date cash remittances grew 6.3% to $12.28 billion from $11.554 billion year-on-year. The United States accounted for the lion's share of overall remittances with 40.1%, followed by Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Japan, the United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates, Canada, South Korea, Qatar, and Taiwan. State Weather Bureau Pagasa on Tuesday announced that a low-pressure area is expected to bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Metro Manila and nine other areas. In its 24-hour forecast, the weather agency said other affected areas include Calabarzon, Mimaropa, the Bicol region, Visayas, the Sambuanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Caraga, Sambales, and Bataan. Pagasa warned against possible flash floods or landslides during moderate to at times heavy rains. Meanwhile, partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms may prevail over the rest of the country due to localized thunderstorms. We'll pause for a short break. Stay with us. Manong Joe po! At Ate Maita. Matapos ang magkasunod na buwang pagbaba, bagyang tumaas ang overall electricity rates ng halos 9 centavos per kilowatt hour ngayong buwan. At paalala lang po, maging energy efficient po tayo. Lalo pag mainit, dahil mas hirap ang appliances at mas makonsumo. Buti may bright ideas tayo na based sa Meralco Power Lab Tests. Engineer Alfred? Alam niyo ba, ang lumang aircon mas mataas ang konsumo. Up to 682 pesos ang dagdag kada buwan. Kumpara sa bago, mas energy efficient kasi ang technology ng bagong aircons. At kung inverter, pwedeng lampas 1,000 pesos ang savings per month. Piliin din yung may horsepower na sakto sa laki ng kwarto. Kung hindi, halos sa libo ang extra gastos buwan-buwan. Sundan ang tips na to. And visit our website para You have the power this summer! Transactions, all new buy 
In business, the local main equities index fell on Tuesday partly on the outlook change by Fitch rating on the country's credit rating. The Philippine Stock Exchange Index lost by 118.74 points or 1.72% to 6,795.13 at the closing bell. The broader all shares were down 54.26 points or 1.27% to 4,215.76. Regina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Nimlingan said that Fitch Ratings moved to change the outlook of its investment grade rating on the country at BBB from stable to negative due to the impact of the pandemic affected investors' sentiments. Volume totaled 1.89 billion shares, amounting to 5.78 billion pesos. Losers led gainers at 125 to 66, while 51 issues were unchanged. And the Banco Central ng Pilipinas said on Tuesday that the Philippines' foreign reserves continued to decline as of end June this year, as the national government withdrew its deposits in the central bank to pay for its external obligations, among other reasons. Central bank data show the country's gross international reserves stood at $106.08 billion, lower than the $107.25 billion as of end May. Central bank said the latest GIR level represents a more than adequate external liquidity buffer equivalent to 12.1 months worth of imports of goods and payments of services and primary income. By convention, GIR is viewed to be adequate if it can finance at least three months' worth of the country's imports of goods and payments of services and primary income, according to the BSP. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis and in line with this, the Daily Tribune digital edition and press reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Vibrant Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available in our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Katribu. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay at home. Good night and God bless us all. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Hatch something big! The all-new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes. Utility mode, long mode, tall mode, refresh mode. The all-new City Hatchback. Hatch more life. Click, click, that's it. Never thought self-service can be this slick. Modify plans in a snap. Walang hirap is a wrap. Just tap the app. Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew. Help and support for you. Out with the ring, ring apps or the in thing. You know what to do. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. 
self-service and easy to use. Mas okay tayo dyan. Group at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Instant response, no hold time pa. Wala nang hintayan. Download Globe at home and Globe One app. All in the Globe app na yan. Download the Globe One and Globe at home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now. Download Globe at home and Globe One app.